It was a quiet midsummer afternoon in July 2024. IT staff around the world were wrapping up for the weekend. But in an instant, everything changed. Thousands of computers, from oil rigs to government offices, simply froze. Blue screens of deaths replaced the normal flow of work, as companies scrambled to understand what had gone wrong. And at the center of it all? CrowdStrike, a trusted leader in cybersecurity. What began as a standard security update was about to cascade into one of the most widespread IT outages in recent memory. The stock market staggered, flights were grounded, schools went dark, the world had been thrown into chaos. Let's talk about the CrowdStrike incident of 2024. Welcome to Linux Talks with Techscare. My name is João Correia and I'm a tech evangelist with Techscare. In today's episode, we're diving into the CrowdStrike incident, an event that disrupted global industries and raised important questions about the reliability of the software we depend on. For years, CrowdStrike has been at the forefront of cybersecurity, protecting critical infrastructure worldwide. Governments, hospitals, airlines and large corporations relied on its Falcon endpoint detection and response to detect and prevent cyber attacks. Everything seemed to be running smoothly. But hidden deep within a new configuration update, a single, untested change was about to shake their entire foundation. CrowdStrike had recently deployed an update what they called a rapid response content, intended to enhance threat detection capabilities. This content update was part of routine security measures, designed to safeguard critical systems by providing real-time adaptive defense against cyber threats. But there was a problem. A mismatch in the expected input fields was lurking in the code, unnoticed during tests. On July 90th, 2024, everything changed. It started with a single system failure, then another, then hundreds more. One by one, systems worldwide began crashing. The source? A botched CrowdStrike update that had caused an out-of-bounds memory read forcing Windows machines to crash en masse. A single update had unknowingly killed thousands of machines. System administrators were blindsided. With no immediate fix available, businesses were forced to stop. And this wasn't just an isolated incident. Airlines were forced to delay flights, stock markets couldn't open, factories shut down, and even media outlets like Sky News went offline. It was a blackout like no other. At the core of this catastrophe was a simple yet devastating mistake. The update that was pushed to thousands of systems expected 20 input fields for its configuration, however, 21 were provided. This triggered a crash in the CrowdStrike Falcon sensor, leading to system-wide outages. A decisive factor that enabled this situation is the Windows operating system architecture, in which security tools like antivirus and similar will run in what is known as Ring Zero, or the highest privilege level possible. This means that software running there has the ability to scan and detect viruses hiding in protected locations, but, critically, also has the now obvious risk of causing the whole system to crash, rather than just the application itself. The reasoning behind this crash is a self-protection mechanism built into the operating system. If an application tries to read outside its memory bounds, then the operating system crashes the application. If that application runs in ring zero, with elevated privileges, then the operating system itself will crash to protect itself. Adding insult to injury, Affected systems would enter what is known as a boot loop. CrowdStrike would load the mismatched file, crash, bring down the operating system, which then rebooted, and then the whole process would be repeated forever. Once the issue was discovered, it was already too late. The damage had already been done. Critical infrastructures, factories and government offices had all been impacted. Now, within hours, the ripple effects of the incident became clear. Airlines were delaying flights, telecom operators faced massive downtime, stock markets opened late and experienced losses, and critical industries came to a halt. The fallout was immense, and for many, it wasn't just an inconvenience, it was a financial and operational disaster. IT teams scrambled to fix the affected systems, but the bootloop prevented the use of remote management tools. This meant that every single affected system, which some estimates pointing to over 8.5 million Windows machines, had to be manually fixed. The impact on CrowdStrike itself was just as severe. Trust, painstakingly built over years, was shattered in an instant. The company's stock plunged by 20%, and the entire incident led to calls for more rigorous testing and deployment methods across the software industry. CrowdStrike quickly sprang into action. Within hours, they began rolling back the problematic update and worked with customers to bring systems back online. By July 29, just 10 days after the incident, 
nearly 99% of affected systems were back up and running. Rodstrike took full responsibility, issuing an unreserved apology and outlining steps to prevent future incidents. Now, the company's remediation efforts included updating their content validation processes, improving test coverage, and adding additional deployment checks to ensure future updates wouldn't cause similar issues. And they weren't alone. Two independent third-party vendors were brought in to conduct reviews, ensuring that future failures of this magnitude wouldn't happen. This incident is a clear reminder of the dangers of unreliable software and inadequate testing. The CrowdStrike incident wasn't caused by hackers or malware, but by a simple coding oversight. And it serves as a lesson for the entire cybersecurity industry. Its significance cannot be overstated. The most damaging cybersecurity incident in history was not caused by malware, but by a security company tool. From this, one key lesson stands out. Software updates, especially those tied to security tools, must be tested rigorously. The reliance on tools like CrowdStrike and critical infrastructure means that the smallest mistake can have far-reaching consequences. As the world becomes increasingly connected, the importance of reliable cybersecurity solutions grows. While the CrowdStrike incident caused significant disruption, it also highlighted the need for better software development practices and more robust testing. No one is truly immune to mistakes, but it's how we respond to these mistakes that defines us. The question remains, as our systems grow more complex, are we prepared for the next big failure? Thanks for watching this episode of Linux Talks with Tuxcare. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more cybersecurity stories. Until the next one.